Oh, and it's definitely a good, a good kind of debate to have when you talk about these coaching switches. Yes, it's a new coach, but you also have a lot of experienced players that this new coach gets to coach. And it could be a clash of character sometimes when you have players who have played in the same system for a long time. Another handoff here uh -oh. for Gasanowski. He's got some room and he's loose. Finally the tackled ball, down. Fumble. The ball Sweet. comes out. Fumble Beverly the ball. says they Fumble have it. Ball. Let's see if the refs will give it to him. And Beverly will get the ball, much to the crowd's pleasing. Bring him down. Like we said, Jordy's a strong kid. You're not going to take him down and tackle him out of shoulder. No. Third down and two for the Panthers. Heim once again oh, takes rolling. the snap. This time he's rolling to his right. Pressure coming and he's sacked. Steven Reardon breaking through the O-line and getting the sack there on third down for Danvers. And once again, Beverly will have to punt. Beverly with second down and go Heim in the I formation. Heim with the QB sneak, and Heim oh, will get into the, the end zone, but he fumbles, no, but and it's picked it up touchdown. either it's way. It looks like they were gonna rule Heim down anyway, so that is a touchdown okay, yep. for the Beverly Panthers. <laughs> I was, I had my mouth open in shock for a second, too, because I thought clearly Heim had broken the plane before. Yeah. In here for the quarterback, Travis Voicing. Boisin takes the snap. Oh, Danvers on to his right. Bull rush coming. Boisin oh, airs it out lefty. deep so down deep the field, and right it's intercepted. There. Jordan Irvine intercepted, with the pick. picked off yes, by Jordan great. Irvine as he great. has been a difference maker on both sides of the field so far tonight. About four? Sullivan got yeah, about, got I'd about say, four or five yards five, on yeah. that. Yeah. Cut, cut about, cut, cut the 10 yards in half about. Yeah, now another pistol snap here yeah, for Heim. Looks move. like okay. Pierce is gonna throw. He looks to his left, fires, and it's caught. And a first down, and much more for the Beverly Panthers as Pierce Heim will connect. With uh, Zach Sparkman? Yep, the tight end, Zach Sparkman. There's the guy. Uh, well, you, you see, uh, I think it's one of the linebackers. I think Boyd sees. He's going outside, yep. Hand off to the left, and he Got is in. in for the touchdown. Danvers has drawn even with Beverly, and a chance for the Falcons to take a one-point lead. Extra point. Fourth coming. 10 a.m. start at back at Hurd Stadium. <laughs> with another handoff here. It's Irvine. Irvine breaking a couple tackles and a couple forward for Beverly. First down. Huge, huge first down right there. Totally caught the Danvers defense napping. It seemed like. Yeah, he picked up. Uh, he picked up the yard that he lost and then uh, gained another 10 or 11 on that and then finished the run just barreling over again. He's having himself quite a night so far. Yes, we usually tend to when we talk about this Beverly running group, we often, you know, go to Andre Sullivan first, but today the show has really been stolen so far by Jordy Irvine. Well, I can tell you, com coming into the season, uh, people were thinking he was the key uh, running back. Uh, he's had some injury issues, uh, but he... Oh, Another big oh, run here, Andre, Andre Sullivan, Sullivan down the sideline oh. as he tries to shoot by a defender, but he stepped out of bounds, and a big game there for Andre Sullivan. And just as we talked about how Sullivan hasn't been involved so much, he breaks out for probably the longest play in terms of yardage other than that pass to Zaris all afternoon. Definitely the longest play of the day for the Beverly Panthers. Yeah, that's how it's a debate here, Rich and Dom, um, between run and pass in this situation. Heim has been kind of inconsistent today with the passing game, but how much can we really expect here when the running backs have pretty much been touching it all night long? Let's see what they do. Kind of a bobbled Sullivan. snap. Heim with the delayed handoff. Touchdown! Nice. Heim Trey Sullivan scores for the Beverly Panthers. I believe it was around that. So that was a, that was a bit of an epic drive here late in this game in the fourth quarter. Grind it up. First down for Voicing and company, and another handoff. The run game's been big all day, and the run game continues to make big contributions as Colin Kelter is going to get the first down and more across midfield. A great start to this drive for Danvers, but also, if you're Beverly in this situation, maybe you want Danvers moving quickly. It gives you more time at the end of this game to potentially drive again. Maybe. Only a slim margin, and now a chance here in the shot, and he's hit, and he's sacked in the backfield. Beverly once again breaking through the Danvers offensive line and the defense stands tall Zach against Danvers' offense. Zach Sparkman coming in. Yeah, by the way, guys, are you a little surprised on that call just because it's four down territory? You well, might have thought that they might have tried something to pick up a chunk. I think they were looking at Zeris right there, yeah, trying they, to get them, uh, you know, off their... Uh, they might have been, but... Balanced it. Looks like and Danvers will go there. for it here on fourth down. A shotgun look here for Travis Voicine. This could be the game if Denver, if uh, Beverly can stop it. Voicine airing it out with the rush coming. Picked up. And it is picked off. Beverly has it. And now they're running back in the other direction. And the Panthers are going to take over as an interception. It looked like Jordan Irvine got it. I might be wrong either way. Oh, Panthers get the ball. From the 
sideline is another knee taken by quarterback Pierce Hine. And the Beverly Panthers with the crowd loud as ever behind them will take this home game here on Friday night, Panther Lights. Look at the expression on the face of the head coach here, Domin Rich. That's really what you love to see. And yes. the players are going crazy. The fans are going crazy. An unbelievable underdog victory win. today for the Panthers. And at the end of the day, Dom, we talked about this in pregame and Rich as well. We had some concerns coming into this one about the Beverly defense, but at the end of the day, it was the defense that won them the game. It really was. It really was. They held the Falcons off the scoreboard the entire first half. They gave up a touchdown to on the immediate drive Great to get a fourth quarter win after what happened last week against Maskonomic as well. So the perfect ending for them to bounce back. And that is going to do it for us here on BevCam Sports. And as the Beverly Panthers improve to three and two on the year, two and one in the NEC. For my partners, Rich Francis and Dominic Lorenzano, I am JJ Sylvia, wishing you a good rest of your Friday night.